Hey everybody, it's Dr. William Clark here for the Dr. William Clark Podcast. It's the podcast that uh, supports the work of nonprofit organizations. We talk about fundraising uh, and how to simplify those strategies to uh, help you achieve your mission. And uh, want to uh, kick off a series of uh, discussions here within the podcast, specifically focused on uh, a mini book I wrote for my masterclass, the Nonprofit Fundraising Masterclass, 95 Things I Wish I Knew Before I Started Fundraising. And this these thoughts were uh, ideas that I do wish I knew before I started fundraising years ago, but also they were specifically in response to questions we received on uh, the various social media platforms that we are a part of. And you can find us on all social media platforms at drwilliampclark.com. And so as we got questions in and as we looked at the needs of the the provider base uh, in the nonprofit community, we began to provide answers to the questions that really are bothering people, questions that lay on their hearts and minds that they wish somebody would answer. And uh, we did so with the hope of providing good context and good content uh, to help them move forward. So I don't know how long this is going to go in terms of the number of podcasts we're going to cover, whether we're going to you know, record all 95 plus, there are more than 95 entries here, or whether we're just going to cover a few, but let's just go with the flow. Let's just kick this off and let's just do the first one here. Now, this first entry uh, is a question about fundraising strategies for daycare services. Now, uh, this is uh, specifically geared toward daycare providers, child care providers. These are uh, organizations that may be for profit or nonprofit, and there may be questions about how we can fundraise or tap into grant funding uh, for our daycare organization or business. Now, let's clarify one thing first. Uh, before you pursue any of the ideas, you got to understand, number one, grants are specifically for, particularly from foundations, they are specifically for 501c3 organizations. And then number two, uh, the ideas we get ready to share are not applicable to all situations. So you're going to have to figure out the good use case for what I'm about to share with you. Now, when you think about the world of workforce development, economic development, family stability, 2Gen, et cetera, even youth development, there are a number of high-end barriers uh, that are identified that stands in a way of a person and a family becoming ep economically sufficient and sustainable. Those barriers include low to no income, unstable housing, the lack of transportation, no employment, and you guessed it, no child care or access to quality child care services. These barriers are pretty consistent across the board when you talk to funders, when you talk to providers, when you talk to families, uh, when you talk to your elected officials, your policymakers, your researchers. These are the things that everyone talks about as the high end barriers that stand in the way of economic mobility and self-sufficiency. And so nonprofits generally are designed around solving one or more of these problems. This does include child care services, right? Whether you're for profit or nonprofit profit doesn't matter in this case, but you're there to provide a service so that the parents can move forward and uh, solve one of these high end barriers or if they're not dealing with these barriers so that the parent can do other things that uh, help the family benefit the family or just frees up time so that things can get done. So child care services is a part of that. It is super important. It's valuable. It's considered critical uh, towards a family's economic success and mobility. So if you're looking for grant opportunities, I want to provide two perspectives here, one for the for-profit and one for the nonprofit. Well, since this is a nonprofit podcast, let's start with the nonprofit. There are a couple of things you can look into. You want to look into funding opportunities that specifically cover and offset the cost of child care services. You want to look at your local foundations. You want to look at the major foundations, the small foundations, and everything in between that specifically solves the problem or covers some or all the cost of child care for a specific type of client. The question is, who's that client? Typically, it's a person who's dealing with high end barriers, a person who is uh, who uh, has uh, probably a sizable family uh, account and doesn't have enough income to cover the family according to federal pot of poverty levels. Right. So these are the things that typically you want to look into. 
But you also want to look into funding that supports the other needs of the families you're serving. Remember, we talked about the high-end barriers uh, a lot of families deal with. This includes low income, unstable housing, lack of transportation, no employment. There are grant opportunities to solve one or more of these problems. And if you believe you have the skill set, the capacity, and the partnerships to resolve or solve any of these other problems, there is funding out there. You're going to have to figure out, though, how to bring along funding funding partners uh, on this journey to trust you with these resources, and you're going to have to figure out how to design programs that are within the scope and capacity of your organization so that you don't lose sight of what you do well, which is child care services, but you can also introduce other components uh, that solve other problems of your families. Now, the question you may be asking is, why does that matter and why should I pursue this? Well, when you're able to solve the issue of low income, no income, unstable housing, tra- lack of transportation and employment, it also improves the bottom line of your core business, which is child care. And when a family, when a parent is able to solve any of these other stressors in life, they begin to think more freely and uh, more purposely about how they're going to cover the cost of child care. They may be more involved in the life of their child it may alleviate the stress you and your staff are feeling uh, as you're solving other issues that show up when a kid comes to your particular facility so this has a ripple effect on your business the day-to-day your staff etc now the second idea to raise money here uh, is to kind of tap into everything I said this idea is for the for-profit and the non-profit uh, child care uh, entities out there If you know that there are providers, major providers, service providers that serve uh, a lot of your customers or people like your customers and they provide services that solve the problem of low income, unstable housing, lack of transportation and no employment, one of the things you have to understand is that they also know that the lack of child care is an issue, will be an issue for the parents and the families that enroll in their programs as well. What happens when a person is going uh, into a new employment opportunity and what sometimes causes that opportunity to cease is because of unstable child care or unstable employment or not employment, unstable transportation, unstable housing, unstable income or the combination of it all. And that does impact you as well as a provider. So one of the cool things you can look at is to figure out who these providers are, the big ones, the midsides and the small ones, and figure out if there's opportunities opportunity for you to become a partner or a subcontractor on one of their grants providing specifically child care services for a subset of their population. So for example, if you have an organization that serves 18 to 24 year olds and they're trying to help these 18 to 24 year olds tap into uh, new employment opportunities, but there's a portion of their population, these 18, 24 year olds that have children and these children need quality child care, it might be a good idea for you to explore a partnership with that provider to talk about what it could look like if you all work together and what the cost could be if you were to provide child care specifically for these 18 to 24 year olds while they're going through their training program and for X number of weeks post uh, completion of the program and while they're uh, jumping into their new employment opportunity. Uh, And that can be another way to subsidize the cost. That can be another way of funding the cost. That can be another way of uh, introducing yourself to a new customer base who now knows who you are, what you do, how much it costs. And as they progress in their career, as they progress in their life, they're going to remember, yeah, I remember this particular child care agency while I was going through this training program, they were taking care of my child or my children. And I am now going to go back to them as I continue to move forward in my life. I'm also going to refer this child care service to my friends who are now looking for child care services for their children too. So when you see this, when you look at this opportunity, we provide it too, right? Go through traditional funding opportunities yourself directly or do it as a subcontractor. This really could impact your bottom line and really add a cool opportunity for you to fundraise. But more importantly, it provides an opportunity for you to serve your customer and solve additional challenges that they may be dealing with that could improve the culture of your business, that could improve the day-to-day operations of your business, and yes, improve your community. So I hope this helps and I hope you found value in this i'm going to encourage you if you know somebody who is doing this type of service or if you're interested in this obviously tap in replay re-listen to this but if you know somebody who's into this work 
go ahead and share this podcast, right? Encourage them to listen. And you yourself like, subscribe uh, just to this particular podcast. And if you want to get in contact with me and get on my calendar, simply go to drwilliampclark.com and uh, schedule a free consultation. We would love to speak with you about your fundraising idea and your nonprofit. We'll talk to you later. This is Dr. William Clark Podcast. See you guys.